<laughs> I always do this towards the camera, let's let. Hey, what's up? How are you? So I got this question of the day uh, question. It said, uh, ever thought about doing self-portrait work? It'd be interesting to see you be limited in to inside your apartment, inspire others who don't have the option of amazing locations and budgets and stuff. The actual rooms in this place, like there's not a whole lot going on. And plus there's not that many rooms either. So I don't have much to like work with. If I can actually make something half decent out of this, I'll be very surprised. Colander, colander. Where is a colander? Let me see. Hey, ooh, spices, I don't give a shit. Ooh, ho, 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 I don't even know if this is gonna work at all, but that looks weird. I don't know, whoa. Oh, yes, yes! We found the colander. If this is what it's called, I think this is a col colander. This can uh, create the holes, the holes that I need, the holes, any holes are gold. <laughs> Do not. I'm definitely not putting that in the vlog. What I've got here is a Sony A7S Mark II, and we've got the 40 mil f1.4. Really good for portraits because when it can go all the way down to f1.4, then that means that you can have that nice blurry background, AKA bokeh. You don't need to have a tripod, but I'm choosing to have a tripod because like, come on, like I'm by myself, give me a break. I'm trying to have as many limitations as possible, but having like, you know what? Screw the tripod. We can do this without a tripod, at least for the first one. If we're not using a tripod, we're gonna have to find something to like perk up under the actual lens so that it's actually shooting straight. Otherwise, like it's just gonna be. Oh, perfect. I think a, a wallet should be good. Uh, oh yeah. I have no idea what this is gonna look like. It's going to suck, but that's cool. I love sucking. Don't, uh, don't, I don't love suck. Don't, uh, quote me on that. Um, we'll focus it on the chair. That's where I'm gonna be. <laughs> it's actually in focus. That, that went really well. I'm surprised. Uh, now I just need to figure out my posing because that was just to see if it even worked in the first place. Yeah, it's not the greatest photo, but like once I edit that and stuff, I reckon I could make that look pretty cool. What else can we do? Oh, here we go. What about this? This is going to, this is just straight up going to suck, but we're gonna do it anyway because it'll be pisser. So I'm gonna have this uh, in front. We'll have this like closer to the camera so it's out of focus, but it creates like this little bit of warp. Luckily uh, in this household, we actually have these whitish curtains so we can pull these across just as a diffuser so that the lighting isn't so harsh. <laughs> I always do this towards the camera, it's like, like as if I'm grabbing. Look at the one of me sleeping with my hat off. Looks so whack. Oh my God. Can we please turn this into a meme? This one of me sleeping. The thing is with model photography, if you haven't done a lot of modeling, then that's another factor. That's a whole different ball game. The fact that I'm doing this by myself, but also modeling for whatever reason, if I did this every single day, I would become so good at modeling, but also doing self portraits. There's this girl named uh, Sorel Amor. I think that she's from Sydney. Yeah, she's an Australian girl. She does this thing. It's called like advanced selfies. She essentially just like sets her camera up and she takes photos of herself in like all kinds of different locations. She doesn't get help from anyone. I really respect how difficult it is uh, and the fact that she does that so well. I was drinking out of this glass and when I finished it, I looked at this and then looking through it, it creates this sort of like bokeh on the inside. I've never done a double exposure before, but essentially what a double exposure is, it's like having one photo on top of another photo. First off, Holy crap, that's like really cool. If you like bring it out a little bit more, then it creates this sort of like force field. 
Oh god. This photo sucks. Please be in focus. Alright, this just straight up is just not working. I think that it might have been a little bit too ambitious to think that I'll be able to get an 85mm f1.4 shot in focus. What I'm gonna do now is just simplify it. I think that I'll switch back to the 40mm and I'll simplify it. What if I use this as a backlight to this? I don't know if this looks cool. Let's check these out now. Oh, God damn it. Oh, the composition is like the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, that's all right. We just need to fix the composition. Jesus Christ, this is so difficult. I just want to get one more half teaspoon. one. I just want to like give up because it's late and I'm tired, but I know that I wouldn't be very happy with myself if I didn't at least get one more half decent photo. Fingers crossed. <laughs> push through your limits, push through your limits. All right. Moment of truth. Come on. Come on. We actually did well. I might be able to edit these and we'll we'll see how we go. When you force yourself into like out of your comfort zone into doing everything yourself, you really do appreciate other people. Who would, like straight up, who would take this photo? I sort of wanted to like have a little bit of warp in this, but it more gave this sort of like dreamlike effect, which actually turned out to be a lot cooler than what I thought. Trying to create depth with my fingers, bringing my fingers close to the lens. I think it looks cool, but you don't want to overdo it. The negative space is filled up a whole lot more in this one because you got my finger that's just coming like towards the top of the lens. As you can see, I have like a whole bunch of this blackness in the photo. It's too much negative space for my liking. So we're gonna press Command E. That's gonna bring us into Photoshop. And then we're gonna use that other photo that we took. Uh, no, no, ooh, now we're getting it. It sort of looks like the sun. The temperature has to be all the way down. Now we drag that into this one. Uh, so if we go lighten, we add a layer mask, and then we paint away. We paint away our problem. Now looking at it, I'm pretty happy with it. Like considering I did it all myself, I'm pretty happy with that. I actually really do like this. It took me a couple, or well, more than a couple goes to get like my actual posing right. It wasn't actually really a self portrait. It's not a self portrait. It's just because I gave up on the other self portrait. It sort of reminds me of like Harry Potter. <laughs> now I feel like if I can take photos here, I literally feel like I can take photos of anything anywhere. So it's like it's sort of like a lesson in confidence. Question of the day. Uh, have you ever done any weather photography, like any lightning or supercells? You should look up a Hector, the, the Hector, the Convector. Hector, the Convector. No, I haven't done any weather. Well, I've done weather. What do you mean weather photography? Like just doing lightning? I haven't actually done that before. I really want to do that as like a long exposure kind of thing. Doing like a supercell. I haven't seen one of those in my life. So that would be really interesting to like go travel out to somewhere that gets really hectic like that. I'm pretty sure Texas gets like that. I'm, I might be completely wrong, but anyway, let's just go with that. First, I gotta do astrophotography because everyone wants me to do that. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time, baby. <laughs>